HD 209458b is an exoplanet that orbits the solar analog HD 209458 in the constellation Pegasus, some 157 light years, 48 parsecs, from the solar system. The radius of the planet's orbit is 0.047 astronomical units, 7.0 million kilometers, 4.4 million miles, or one-eighth the radius of Mercury's orbit, 0.39 astronomical units, 36 million miles, 58 million kilometers. This small radius results in a year that is 3.5 Earth days long and an estimated surface temperature of about 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,300 Kelvin. Its mass is 220 times that of Earth, 0.69 Jupiter masses, and its volume is some 2.5 times greater than that of Jupiter. The high mass and volume of HD 209458b indicate that it is a gas giant. HD 209458b represents a number of milestones in exoplanetary research. It was the first of many categories. In July 2014, NASA announced finding very dry atmospheres on HD 209458b and two other exoplanets, HD 189733b and WASP-12b, orbiting sun-like stars. HD 209458b has been nicknamed Osiris after the Egyptian god. This nickname has been acknowledged by the IAU, but as of 2023, it has not yet been approved as an official proper name. Spectroscopic studies first revealed the presence of a planet around HD 209458 on November 5, 1999. Astronomers had made careful photometric measurements of several stars known to be orbited by planets in the hope that they might observe a dip in brightness caused by the transit of the planet across the star's face. This would require the planet's orbit to be inclined such that it would pass between the Earth and the star, and previously no transits had been detected. Soon after the discovery, separate teams, one led by David Charbonneau, including Timothy Brown and others, and the other by Gregory W. Henry, were able to detect a transit of the planet across the surface of the star making it the first known transiting extrasolar planet. On September 9th and 16th, 1999, Charbonneau's team measured a 1.7% drop in HD 209458's brightness, which was attributed to the passage of the planet across the star. On November 8th, Henry's team observed a partial transit, seeing only the ingress. Initially unsure of their results, the Henry group decided to rush their results to publication after overhearing rumors that Charbonneau had successfully seen an entire transit in September. Papers from both teams were published simultaneously in the same issue of the Astrophysical Journal. Each transit lasts about three hours, during which the planet covers about 1.5% of the star's face. The star had been observed many times by the Hipparco satellite, which allowed astronomers to calculate the orbital period of HD 209458b very accurately at 3.524736 days. Spectroscopic analysis had shown that the planet had a mass about 0.69 times that of Jupiter. The occurrence of transits allowed astronomers to calculate the planet's radius, which had not been possible for any previously known exoplanet, and it turned out to have a radius some 35% larger than Jupiter's. It had been previously hypothesized that hot Jupiters, particularly close to their parent star, should exhibit this kind of inflation due to intense heating of their outer atmosphere. Tidal heating due to its orbit's eccentricity, which may have been more eccentric at formation, may also have played a role over the past billion years. On March 22, 2005, NASA released news that infrared light from the planet had been measured by the Spitzer Space Telescope the first ever direct detection of light from an extrasolar planet. This was done by subtracting the parent star's constant light and noting the difference as the planet transited in front of the star and was eclipsed behind it, providing a measure of the light from the planet itself. New measurements from this observation determined the planet's temperature as at least 750 degrees Celsius, 1,020 Kelvin, 1,380 degrees Fahrenheit. The nearly circular orbit of HD 209458b was also confirmed. On February 21, 2007, 
NASA and Nature released news that HD 209458b was one of the first two extrasolar planets to have their spectra directly observed, the other one being HD 189733b. This was long seen as the first mechanism by which extrasolar, but non-sentient life forms could be searched for by way of influence on a planet's atmosphere. A group of investigators led by Jeremy Richardson of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center spectrally measured HD 209,458 B's atmosphere in the range of 7.5 to 13.2 micrometers. The results defied theoretical expectations in several ways. The spectrum had been predicted to have a peak at 10 micrometers, which would have indicated water vapor in the atmosphere. But such a peak was absent, indicating no detectable water vapor. Another unpredicted peak was observed at 9.65 micrometers, which the investigators attributed to clouds of silicate dust, a phenomenon not previously observed. The other one being HD 189733b. This was long seen as the first mechanism by which extrasolar, but non-sentient life forms could be searched for by way of influence on a planet's atmosphere. A group of investigators led by Jeremy Richardson of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center spectrally measured HD 209,458 B's atmosphere in the range of 7.5 to 13.2 micrometers. The results defied theoretical expectations in several ways. The spectrum had been predicted to have a peak at 10 micrometers, which would have indicated water vapor in the atmosphere, but such a peak was absent, indicating no detectable water vapor. Another unpredicted peak was observed at 9.65 micrometers, which the investigators attributed to clouds of silicate dust, a phenomenon not previously observed. Another unpredicted peak occurred at 7.78 micrometers, for which the investigators did not have an explanation. A separate team led by Mark Swain of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory reanalyzed the Richardson et al. data and had not yet published their results when the Richardson et al. article came out, but made similar findings. On 23rd June, 2010, Astronomers announced they have measured a superstorm with wind speeds of up to 7,000 kilometers per hour, 2,000 meters per second, 4,000 miles per hour, for the first time time in the atmosphere of HD 209-458b. The very high precision observations done by ESO's Very Large Telescope and its powerful CRIRES spectrograph of carbon monoxide gas show that it is streaming at enormous speed from the extremely hot day side to the cooler night side of the planet. The observations also allow another exciting first, measuring the orbital speed of the exoplanet itself, providing a direct determination of its mass. As of 2021, the spectra of planetary atmosphere taken by different instruments remains highly inconsistent, indicating either metal-poor atmosphere temperatures below black body equilibrium or disequilibrium atmosphere chemistry. In August 2008, the measurement of HD 209458b's Rossiter-McLaughlin effect and hence spin orbit angle is minus 4.4 plus or minus 1.4 degrees. The study in 2012 updated the spin orbit angle to minus five plus or minus seven degrees. Stratosphere and upper clouds. The atmosphere is at a pressure of one bar at an altitude of 1.29 Jupiter radii above the planet's center. Where the pressure is 33 plus or minus 5 millibars, the atmosphere is clear, probably hydrogen, and its Rayleigh effect is detectable. At that pressure, the temperature is 2,200 plus or minus 260 Kelvin, 1,900 plus or minus 260 degrees Celsius. 3,500 plus or minus, 470 degrees Fahrenheit. Observations by the orbiting microvariability and oscillations of STARS telescope initially limited the planet's albedo or reflectivity below 0.3, making it a surprisingly dark object. The geometric albedo has since been measured to be 0.038 plus or minus 0.045. In comparison, Jupiter has a much higher albedo of 0.52. This would suggest that HD 209458b's upper cloud deck is either made of less reflective material than is Jupiter's, or else has no clouds and Rayleigh scatters incoming radiation like Earth's dark ocean. 
Models since then have shown that between the top of its atmosphere and the hot high pressure gas surrounding the mantle, there exists a stratosphere of cooler gas. This implies an outer shell of dark, opaque, hot clouds, usually thought to consist of vanadium and titanium oxides, but other compounds like tholins cannot be ruled out yet. A 2016 study indicates the high altitude cloud cover is patchy with about 57% coverage. The Rayleigh scattering heated hydrogen rests at the top of the stratosphere. The absorptive portion of the cloud deck floats above it at 25 millibars. On November 27, 2001, astronomers announced that they had detected sodium in the atmosphere of the planet using observations with the Hubble Space Telescope. This was the first planetary atmosphere outside the solar system to be measured. The core of the sodium line runs from pressures of 50 millibar to a microbar. This turns out to be about a third the amount of sodium at HD 189733b. The additional data did not confirm the presence of sodium in the atmosphere of HD 209458b as in 2020. In 2003 to 4, astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope imaging spectrograph to discover an enormous ellipsoidal envelope of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen around the planet that reaches 10,000 Kelvin, 10,000 degrees Celsius, 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The hydrogen exosphere extends to a distance, RAR, H equals 3.1 RARJ, much larger than the planetary radius of 1.32 RJ. At this temperature and distance, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of particle velocities gives rise to a significant tail of atoms moving at speeds greater than the escape velocity. The planet is estimated to be losing about 100 to 500 million kilograms per second. Analysis of the starlight passing through the envelope shows that the heavier carbon and oxygen atoms are being blown from the planet by the extreme hydrodynamic drag created by its evaporating hydrogen atmosphere.